Thomas here with Jenny and Nick from Devil Skin. Hi. How's good. it going, guys? And how have you been? Good. 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 Yeah. 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 Good. <laughs> Sorry. It's a bit, bit tired. Yeah, a yeah, yeah. Big night last night. I <laughs> played a show in Ohakia, the yeah. Air Force Base. So, um, flew back this morning. Yeah. And drove up to Auckland, and now we're here. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. Um, so, let's just get straight into it. Uh, it's been a hectic 12 months for you guys. Um, with your first album released and a huge sellout tour. Um, have you guys had time to sit back and let it all sink in yet? Or has the whole year been pretty hectic? Uh, it's been pretty hectic, eh? Hey? It's, yeah, it's safe to say that, um, yeah, it's definitely been hectic for us, but we have had you know a couple of weeks to just sort of take it all in and, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. and, and then not long after that we sort of got back into it and keeping up with the practices and working on new yeah. stuff and working on future endeavours so Mm -hmm. yeah so it's been a little break but we never really stop I guess yeah yeah (laughs) so you guys did take time out and sort of like sort of cut off the practices but just Just chill for weeks yeah yeah Yeah. that's good yeah um so now that we rise out and it's been out for a while you guys played a lot of shows supporting that release um what would be some of your favorite tracks now uh for me uh live wise would probably be violation you know if you yeah. just go hard and it was the first song of the encore so everyone's wanting yeah. more and then it, you can just give it to them straight there yeah, and then yeah. in your face um surrender will still be a standout track for me in studio and live it's just one that i feel like we can all connect with and pretty broad subject that it covers and yeah, yeah so that's one for me yeah yeah for me um it's always elvis i guess the yeah title track because we start our set with that yeah. and you know just it's like especially with the tour before you're on stage you want to be chanting your name which is really cool and then you just rip into that song yeah it's just like, yeah wicked and then um obviously little pills was our last song and um just everyone going crazy over that and singing along and um start a revolution live because it's another one that people can sing to and yeah. Just point the mic out and you can just say, like, Get it's out, like, your turn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, it was just, it was real cool. Real yeah, true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, nice. Um, so, as you guys have grown and found that you've sort of, have you found that you've sort of been getting noticed more in public or at other shows and stuff like that and um, sort of getting stopped or anything like that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, because I've always um, sort of considered it a blessing to be the, the I guess I'd call myself the most unrecognisable one of the band. You know, you've got Paul and Nail with their beards and Jenny's, you know, the centrepiece. And, yeah. um, so I've always been able to walk through crowds and, you know, just sort of get by. But, I mean, man, it would have been about a week after the tour. I'm walking through town with my friends in a cardigan and shorts and glasses and someone goes, oh, my God, that's right. I've never seen that. It's like, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, it's a bit of a buzz. And like, you yeah. know, I'm not sort of used to it, but it's... It's just, uh, I don't think that's something I'll ever get quite used to, is yeah. people that you've never met knowing who you are and what you do. It's like, oh, yeah. Ooh. awesome. Yeah. <laughs> How about you? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, yeah. You know, I work in a little coffee shop during the week, and sometimes I get people coming in, um, and they sort of recognise you, and then they're like, oh, having such a uh, <laughs> girl fan moment, or fan girl moment, sorry. Yeah, yeah you know, I'm just like, Okay, well, here's your latte. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I don't know. It's just weird. And then I'm just like, well, I'm still, I'm still yeah, normal. Yeah. I'm still living the same place. Everyone's like thinking, oh, you know, you guys have been successful at the album and stuff. You must be living in Auckland now. No, <laughs> we still live in Hamilton. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have people sort of come specifically to your shop because they know you sort of work there? Have you had that yet? Um, some people, yeah. yeah. It gets a bit weird. Yeah. But my <laughs> boss is pretty cool and, you yeah. know. She's got a bit of attitude, so... <laughs> can control a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, Nick, this one's for you. Um, last time I spoke to your dad, I got a bit of an idea of how he found it touring with his son. Um, now, from you, how do you find making music and touring with your dad? I mean, it's a bit different because he's the X-Man. But... Yeah. I mean, he's, he's always been... To, to me, it's always just been my dad, you know, I've, yeah. I've always understood that he's got the radio show and he's got a massive following, but since joining the band, um, it's really sort of opened my eyes to the sort of following that he had prior to Devil Skin, and yeah. especially now that Devil Skin's on the map, I guess you could say. 
Um, it's it's a bit of a buzz and it's definitely something that I've started to take less for granted yeah. because um, I know that I'm not going to get to play, with, play music with my dad or write music with my dad when I'm his age. Um, so it's definitely a crazy buzz. You know, you've got hundreds of people in the crowd and they're going crazy for music that my family created. Yeah. For me, it's just, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's unreal. Does it change any aspect of the tour? You're like, you can't sort of, oh, good enough. <laughs> <laughs> um, sometimes there are yeah. some moments where it's just like, oh, you're dead. But, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Nah, it's, it's pretty chill. We're pretty chill around <laughs> each other. You know, I think we sort of, you, you've got to be band members first most of the okay. time when you're on the road and yeah. everything. You know, you can't, do you know can't be put on special like family privileges faces and yeah. privileges for when you're on the road because you're there to work yeah for sure yeah. Cool. Right, so you released We Rise back in July, mm -hmm. and it went gold after two weeks, mm. which is ridiculous. <laughs> um, and it's been in the top ten New Zealand albums for about twenty weeks. Yeah, um, I think it's still there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's still now you've released your Live at the Power Station CD DVD, and that's also in the top ten. <laughs> how was like seeing that, seeing two of your albums in the top ten? How does that feel? Like especially after We Rise came out so long ago as well. Mm. Trippy. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's a big buzz, eh? Like, yeah. you know, people are still, we still get messages on our Facebook page saying, oh, I just bought both your albums or I just bought the first album. And then, you know, you see it in the charts next to some of the biggest names in music that you know of. And it's like some, you know, we were ahead of Ed Sheeran for three weeks and that was just like mind boggling yeah. for us. But yeah, it's, it's crazy to have both of them in the top 10. It's just, yeah, it's awesome. The support's been great. Mm. Did you have much of an expectation when you were releasing the live CD? Like, you saw how well We Rise did, mm -hmm. so did you think, oh, you know, it could do pretty good? I mean, a lot of it's the same songs. Oh, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we, we, no, we didn't have expectations to, for it to do as well as We Rise. I mean, we didn't really have expectations for We Rise. We just when for sort it, of put it out there and just see what happened. Yeah, and, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, no, it's, 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 we still have to slap ourselves each morning because yeah. it's like what's this still doing in the charts <laughs> you know yeah but yeah no it's, it's wicked yeah sure sure um alright so now there would have been a lot of extra preparation behind that power station show um behind the scenes especially did you guys treat it did you guys put any extra preparation in for it yourselves or did you sort of just go about your own thing we might just go about our own thing I think yeah, yeah it was we, we wanted to to film what we had done around the country. We didn't mm -hmm. want to give people special. a DVD where we're doing this amazing show, then they come to another show in a smaller town, say, and then it was not as not up to scratch as yeah. on the DVD. So it was definitely about showing anyone that missed out and you know, who wanted to relive any of the shows, you know, it was about emulating that show yeah. and just showing them what that show was. Mm -hmm. No, that's good, yeah. Brilliant. There was no so you didn't sort of get extra rest the night before or extra warm up or anything like that. No, we came, we came from Hamilton, eh? So we yeah. had, a, had a nice rest at home. Yeah, I guess so, so, yeah. We play, we, I mean, we still play a show the night before, yeah. And, um, I guess we're still in the zone. Yeah. 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 Still in tour mode. I got my hair and makeup done. Oh, that's good. <laughs> <fair. laughs> <laughs> that made all the difference. Yeah. Um, so the DVD in the pack is the full live concert. And it looks really good. Um, was there much behind the scenes shot for that show and on the tour in general? And could we maybe expect a little like behind the power station or on tour with Devil Skin sort of piece in the future? <laughs> Definitely. <Yes>. Yeah. <laughs> we, we, we took a go we bought a GoPro about uh, a week out from the start of the tour, so we had that with us the whole time. We filmed yeah. pretty much anything we could and Nails had a handy cam for a couple of years and so um, yeah, definitely we're all pretty keen to put something together, at least for this year. And just sum up because this year's been crazy for us, yeah. and so we really want to show you know the behind the scenes aspect and yeah, yeah, yeah. So definitely, yeah. Sweet. So it's not just going to be of that. So it's going to be possibly of like yeah, definitely. We've still got well. clips from um, a couple of years before, yeah, yeah. just oh, some sweet. highlights from previous music videos and stuff. So yeah, being dorks. And <laughs>
Funny blue comes with the territory, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, where are we? So for that show and on the tour, you played a whole bunch of unreleased stuff, and you also covered "Holy Dive" with Idea. Yep. Um, is there any chance of those songs getting uh, studio versions, like the cover and the old one? Uh, the yeah, the old ones definitely. Um, yeah. They they should be on the next album. Oh, sweet. Um, hopefully, yep. to. So it's not like they've been shelved, you're like... No, 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 like with We Rise, you know, you could only put so many songs on the album and unfortunately some of them missed out, but um, yep, they'll be on the next album and yeah, yeah I think... It'd be great to record a cover. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, we do a few covers, but I guess that one stands out the most, mm. especially with our, our rock metal crowd, yeah. so um, yeah. <laughs> so when I first heard it, I think you played at Hungron, oh, yeah. and yeah. I was like, holy shit, that was epic. <laughs> <laughs> I've loved Dio for ages. Yes. <laughs> um, all right, so next up we'll talk about the videos here. Yep. Um, you guys have released about four videos now. Yep. About. Yes. Um, Fade being the latest. Mm -hmm. What made you guys choose Fade to be that next single? Because you guys, I remember you saying you wrote it back in like 2010 or recorded it in 2010. Yeah, we did. It was um, the second song that the band wrote, I think after Little Pills, and there was actually a, um, a first cut of the video with um, the original drummer and... Um, we just that that was put on hold. We decided that we didn't want to put that single out first. Okay. Um. So and then we just wanted to write for the right moment because we thought you know if we release a ballad, then people might expect us to be a ballad sort of band. So it was yeah. We just wanted to pick the right moment for that song because yeah. um, especially with the new studio version with the strings added on, so we yeah. really really wanted to give that song justice because it's about it's got a definite beauty. Mm -hmm. to it and we wanted to put that into the video as well so and yeah. i guess uh, you know it shows another side of us as well because yeah it's it's one of our sort of softer songs yeah a bit of a ballad and um yeah just thought why not and um the video was actually done by damien alexander from yeah. blacklist yeah hmm. that's sick how was it working with like, with damien like such an icon for new Zealand, especially heavy new zealand music yeah I mean, that's yeah. pretty crazy it was awesome. He's <laughs> such a great guy, and he had a he came to us with um, a bit of the concept for the idea, and then we worked with him on developing it, and then that's how we could. That's what the final product became. It was okay. a mixture of his ideas and our ideas and coming together. But yeah, he's a sweet dude to work with. And yeah, I'd love to work with him again. Yeah. yeah. So you guys have created and put yourselves into the videos. You don't yep. sort of just yeah. hand it off to the directors and say, "Go for gold." <laughs> yeah, normally they'll sort of present something, and then we'll say, you know. I guess what we want as well and yeah. go from there yeah yeah sweet yeah. like is there someone that sort of more puts more input into it into the videos and stuff out of the band or is everyone sort of like nah I don't like that yeah that's cool I think we 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 can pretty easily agree on stuff as a band um, as far as like creative ideas go I think um, yeah it's yeah. it's something that we can all sort of just agree upon and if there's something that doesn't spring out at us or we've got another idea for something that's usually we're usually on the same level that's right in that aspect it's sort of what you want as a band as yeah. well like just being creative stuff you know? yeah <laughs> <laughs> um also so funny for this but are you guys planning on any more videos for we rise um yeah i guess i'd like to do a video for either surrender or vessel because vessel yeah. was released on the rock like um wasn't really supposed to be a single yet, but they started playing it and people started, you know, <laughs> loving it. So we're like, oh, sweet, there you go, it's a single. Um, but yeah, I think it would be cool to do a video for that, but I'd really like to do something for Surrender, like something really um, out there. Yeah. It'd be quite cool, but yeah, we'll just see. Yeah. See what happens. <laughs> do you sort of, are you sort of, sort of picking the songs a lot of the time for maybe music television, or are you just making it for YouTube? Pretty much all like that, sort I, of web based stuff. I don't think we ever have expectations to put it out. You know, in the on radio or on TV, we sort of do it because that's what we feel the song needs. And if radio okay. or TV wants it or loves it, then awesome. Yeah. And if they don't, awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just doing it for you guys. Oh, yeah. That's cool. <laughs> yeah. It's cool that you're sort of taking that fan feedback as well with Vessel. Mm. It's like, mm. okay, people are digging this song. Yeah. yeah. Just put that in the list. Yeah. 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 Sell out tour in support of We Rise, and now you hit it out on your Summer Surrender tour. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, with these four walls, Silence the City in 75 states in the South Island. Yep. yep. Um, can you give us a little rundown of this tour? Well, it starts on the 27th of December. Uh, we're starting in Rewaka in Nelson. Um, then we're off to Mangawai Tavern, um, Corrigling Tavern after that. And we're spending New Year's Eve in um, Bro's Field in Mount Monganui. Possibly a, a doozy. Yeah, should be an <laughs> after party at Flaunt at the strip bar if you're, if you're <laughs> interested. Um, <laughs> And then it's uh, Okura, um, Butler's Reef Hotel, and then we're in Wellington and Christchurch after that. Sweet. Yeah, so not as many dates as the uh, the previous one, but be nice and warm and yeah. sunny. Beach towns. Beach towns. Yeah. And Kinis. Yeah. <laughs> Get last best time speed still, on. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> last time we were still through winter, right? Now you've yeah. got the summer. Yeah. yeah change it up. <laughs> um, so you got these four songs the city, City Fighter Stacey. Mm-hmm. How do you guys go about choosing your supports? Like, do you guys get involved with that as a band? Yeah, we do. Okay, yep. so you don't just leave it up to management or people planning it on? No, I mean, management do have um, part yep. to say, <laughs> but yeah, so do we. Yeah, cool. <laughs> it's, you know, we, we like to work with people who are there to, you know, that they know what they're doing. Yeah. And so, and, you know, we also choose bands that we're pretty into and that we feel will. And it's all about local support as well because we know that, you know, getting you know, the hottest local band is going to draw a few more people and it's a chance for them to put on a great show. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, because these four walls based in Australia now. Yeah. Um, so did you get to sort of kind of say, hey, come here, we want you to support us on this? Yeah. Or yeah. like they're going to be here anyway sort of thing? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> I think that's how it went. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. Um, so what can, ex- can we expect from these summer shows? Like, are there many changes from the We Rise tour? There will be. Yes. There will be? Yeah. We can't say too much at the moment. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, there will definitely, it will definitely be a different show. Um, hoping for it to be bigger, better, better. Yeah. Just Still cool. looking at that, like, sort of 90 minutes sort of thing as well? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. For sure. Well, yeah. that's how, yeah. It's, obviously, we'll have some new material as well. Could go Absolutely. a bit longer, but, yeah. yeah. We like to do long shows. <laughs> we have lots of songs. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Are you going to do anything special around Surrender? Because it's called the Summer Surrender Tour. Is there anything special around that? Ooh, maybe. <laughs> nah, Illuminati, no. what? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, not saying. Not saying. Not okay. okay. um, Now there's another massive rock tour going on at the same time um, with like She Had I'm Joan and the Dadsons. Mm-hmm. Do you guys feel a bit of competition there? Or is it just sort of you just chill going with it? Yeah, well, I mean, they're playing obviously different places. It's the we, same sort of circuit. Yeah, it's yeah. the same sort of circuit, but um, I guess, you know, we, we are doing a lot of the shows that they're doing at different dates, obviously. Yeah. Um, but I don't know, I don't think there's really a competition there. We're just, we're, we're doing our thing, they're doing their thing, mm. and yeah. it's all good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it is. Did you guys get any offers sort of from the festivals and stuff that are going around for New Year's and then decide to do your own tour or just want to do your own tour from the start? Uh, yeah, we we wanted to do our own sort of thing as a, a celebration of the year and mm. sort of just wanted to keep the ball rolling. Yeah. We didn't want to be like, here's our album, here's our tour, see you later. Yeah. <laughs> we definitely wanted to, to keep moving with keep that. Keep that yeah, yeah, and just keep things fresh and mm. remind people that we're not going anywhere anytime soon. Yeah. So, Touring's fun. Yeah, yeah touring's awesome. <laughs> yeah, that's good. You've got to enjoy it, eh? Yeah. Um, after the summer tour, you've got about a month off, and then you're opening for Slash and Miles Kennedy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Who in the band is the most excited about these shows and meeting these guys? <laughs> Nail. It's got to be Nail. Nail. Be. <laughs> for sure. Yeah. Yeah. He's physically going to be fanboying. They got yeah. <laughs> paintings of him in their house. Here, really? So, yeah. yeah. So yeah. yeah, they're ecstatic about it. Yeah. Oh, it's so funny because um, we. <laughs> We're getting these emails from our manager and like I think I can't remember what it was for, but it was like it was an issue and we're like trying to sort it out. And I went over to Nails one night and I'd just seen the email saying, Hey, do you wanna open for slash? And um Like it's a question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and Nail hadn't seen it. I yeah. was like, Oh, have you seen the, the latest email? It's like, Oh what now? Fucking <laughs> <laughs> being now. Yeah. And then um, I was like, No, 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 just just have a look at this one. And then <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 yeah! yeah. <laughs> it 
was just like instant like yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. so he's all the emotions cool. switch huh? yeah <laughs> pretty excited he's pretty stoked so yep. that's sort of what I expected as well yeah <laughs> <laughs> um now now for those two shows because you're playing what Hamilton and Wellington yes yeah um you're going to be playing Homegrown again yes. for the yeah. second time uh this one you're getting one of the later slots. So going from that last year being sort of second band on to now being like sort of one of the headliners almost, does that sort of thing help sort of put things in perspective of this what this year's been like? I guess so, yeah. For sure. Yeah. yeah. I mean we we had tried to we tried to get into homegrown for a while and um we finally got our break uh for this year, the start of this year yeah. and you know, we're just happy to get a spot and, you know, quarter past two and we and bloody hot afternoon and we managed to pull like three four thousand people and it's just unbelievable okay, yeah. without an album and now yeah. that this year's just been such a treat for us it's just like we're just ecstatic we can't wait to see what next year's going to bring so yeah. yeah it's going to be freaking awesome yeah one of those sort of it might be one of those pinch yourself moments oh for sure was pa- we're yeah. playing the power station there yeah oh yeah. yeah yeah you know when you hear that you've sold out the power station you've seen yeah. your favorite bands there it's just like yeah Okay. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> like I hadn't checked out the crowd until like she got on stage, and I was just like, Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, There's lots of people here. <laughs> yeah. well, that's gonna be that's gonna be a massive show. That's yeah. such a massive lineup for the rock stage. I think. Like, yeah. This kind of yeah. Yeah. Show. That is yeah. Nice. Yeah. Should be a set, set festival. Mm. Oh, hard. Um. Where am I? Sweet. So. Last night you guys played Ohakia. <laughs> yeah. Um, for the Air Force, how did how did those shows go down? Like, do you get the cool, calm, discipline type, or do they let loose for you guys? Let loose for them. Yeah, they, yeah, they like to you know unbutton the the uniforms and just <laughs> just have a couple of beers and just have fun. You know, it was their wrap up um, party for the year and just a bit of a celebration. And they invited us to come down and we would more than happy to and yeah. yeah it's just a good time yeah how did those shows come about like this thing this is a really interesting sort of thing. Uh, Paul, people. yeah Paul's, <laughs> Paul's got a um, couple of friends in the Air Force you know everyone's got friends that are doing different things and just stay in contact and you know they've done some things for us in the past and awesome. just more than happy to return the favour for, uh, for some good mates mm. yeah, yeah. Mm. <laughs> So, what's up next for Devil Skin? You know, the summer tour over, like when the summer tour is over, and all those other shows, is it time to start an album too then? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. We've got our eyes set on overseas as well. Yeah, not nice. exactly sure yet, uh, where yet, but yeah, definitely uh, got our, our scopes pointed there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And yeah, new material. Yeah, sweet. Yeah. Like, have you got some contacts over there you're working with? Yeah. And like, sort of maybe Europe, the States sort of thing? Yeah, States, Europe, mm. uh, Japan, I think. Yeah. Oh, Something yeah. like that. So yeah, just see where the wind takes us, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. And I guess yeah. um, get back over to Aussie, because we did do four shows in Aussie yeah. um, two weeks after our tour, and um, mm. get back over to Melbourne, I think, and possibly head up to Adelaide. Sweet. Yeah. Do that again. It'd be good to go to Melbourne. My brother did. My brother's there and he likes you guys. Oh, sweet, <laughs> yeah. Well, we, we did two shows there and um, we played SB uh, as one of them and that was, it was great. Yeah. <laughs> it was a great night. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. Really cool. Were any of the nights sort of, were they all like for fans or some of them sort of like for the people like looking to maybe bring you over? Um, like, we did uh, one show yeah. sort of around the, the big sound festival um, that was going on at the time and they had a gig going on. For that, that they asked us to play and see, that was for that. Um, okay, yeah. Brisbane. But yeah, yeah, in Brisbane. And then the other ones were just because we had a calling over there and yeah. all the cousins from over the ditch came along. <laughs> and yeah, so most of them were Kiwis to start out with anyway. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's what they say. Usually, like when Kiwi bands go overseas, they're like, half the people that show up are Kiwis anyway. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> That's good. Sweet. Um, do you, so when you're going up, when you're starting to write for album number two, do you guys think you'll go away for a riding trip like you did last time? Yeah. 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 So definitely really works well? best in yeah. when you're when you're sort of isolated and and it, you you set, you set yourself up for that creative mode. You definitely can get a lot more out of it, and you're just putting all your time of the day into it. And yeah. that's when you can really work on songs and like 
something that's better than just a riff here or a riff here and then put it together to practice and then two weeks later you can go play it. Mm. Yeah. Sweet. Like, do you, do you think you'll go back to the same place? Mm, I'm just leave maybe. it Maybe. We'll see if you'll find out. Yeah. 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 Somewhere isolated, somewhere somewhere we can just relax and put scenery. Mm. And you can make lots of noise without pissing people yeah. off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not so fast about that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sweet. Not get shot down sort of thing. Yeah. That'd be a bit crap, though. <laughs> we can write a song about it. Yeah, sure. <laughs> um, Alright, so now this last one here for us. What do you think defines an NZ block? Not me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I don't think I'm rocking any, anything blokey. Stubbies and jangles <laughs> yeah. and yeah. Oh, life I, I, I partook in crate day. Is that oh, blokey? Crate yeah. day. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> Did yeah. you finish it? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. I don't think your dad would let you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get the gander for that one. Yeah. <laughs> White ghetto beer and swan drives. Swan drives. <laughs> Gum boots. <laughs> and handlebar moustaches. Oh, yeah. and Especially bombs. in November. Oh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Sweet guys. Well, thanks cool. for coming on. No thanks worries. for having us, man. Awesome. Chat. And also thanks to Ding Dong. Cheers. Catch you guys later. Wait, wait.